Welcome back to English with Johnny. Today we're tackling part one of the speaking test again. In particular, we're going to be tackling one of the biggest and most universal topics in section one, and that is cooking. Now, the first question in this section will be, do you like cooking? Yes, actually, I'm really into cooking. Um, I'm always trying out new and interesting recipes I've picked up online, like a spicy Korean dish or a hearty Italian meal. And it's kind of like a hobby of mine, trying to recreate all these dishes from around the world. Definitely not. To me, it's just a chore. Um, you see, cooking takes a lot of time and effort. Uh, and I also find that if I'm the one cooking, I don't really enjoy the meal. I think the whole process of it desensitizes my taste buds. I'm a huge fan of it. To me, the art of cooking is sort of like a puzzle. Uh, through trial and error, you need to work out all of the precise measurements and combinations of the different ingredients in order to make the perfect dish. So it really appeals to my creative side. Oh, absolutely, especially when it comes to cooking for other people. I just love to see the looks on their faces when they take that first bite of a tasty dish that I've prepared for them. It really gives me a sense of achievement. So the next question will be, do you find it difficult to cook Vietnamese food? Of course not. Most Vietnamese kids are inducted into the art of cooking at a very young age by their parents, um, say around the age of 9 or 10, um, and I'm no different. Uh, when I was in primary school, I could already cook rice, boiled pork, and Vietnamese spring rolls. You know, I just learned some simple dishes that I could make in order to help out my family. Oh yes, um, I would definitely have to admit that Vietnamese food can be quite challenging to make. Um, you see, it requires lots of specific herbs and spices for different dishes, and it could be quite a pain to remember them all. Well, it depends. Um, like most cultures, we have a healthy mix of simple and more elaborate dishes. Um, so if I just want to rustle up something quickly, I have that option. But also, if I'm looking to challenge myself, there's a lot of Vietnamese recipes that can really give me a run for my money. The next question is, who taught you how to cook? Well, nobody really taught me how to cook. I kind of just picked it up from watching my parents cook dinner for us. Well, I'm pretty much self-taught when it comes to cooking. I mainly learned from YouTube tutorials. Um, nowadays, there's no shortage of easy to follow and informative videos about creating a seemingly endless variety of different dishes from around the world. Actually, my mum made it her mission to teach me how to cook. Um, I I think she was hoping that I would be able to help out in the kitchen when I got a bit older, uh, but unfortunately I didn't have much talent for it and uh, nobody asks me to cook dinner. The next question will be, do you want to learn how to cook? Of course, you see I'm going to university soon, so I think it's probably a good idea to learn how to cook a few simple but tasty dishes, you know, in order to survive. Well, I would love to, but unfortunately I don't have the luxury of time on my side. Um, I think learning how to cook well is a very time-consuming process, and that's just a commitment I can't make at the moment. Absolutely not. Cooking is such a messy activity. Even when it comes to simple dishes, I just find the whole cleaning up process quite tedious. Um, so I know it's not healthy and it's quite expensive, but I much prefer eating out rather than learning how to cook my own food. The next question will be, did you learn how to cook when you were a child? Absolutely. Um, you see, I grew up in a restaurant and uh, both my parents are chefs, 
So they tried to teach me from a young age, say around nine or ten, in order to help out the family business. And um, as a result, I can now cook a good number of tasty dishes. No, not really. You see, I was quite a clumsy kid. So I think my parents were quite worried that I'd end up hurting myself in the kitchen. You know, there's lots of hot pans and knives and other dangerous things that you can find there. So they actually encouraged me to stay away from cooking. Uh, yes, I've always been quite hands-on when it comes to cooking. Um, when I was a kid, uh, I'd watch my parents preparing dinner one night, and the next I'd be ready to give it a try myself and uh, help them out. They may ask you, do you often bake? Yeah, I'm a pretty keen baker. Um, I try to bake as much as possible. You know, it's just so much fun mixing all those ingredients together. And you can't beat the smell of freshly baked bread and cookies wafting through the house. It really just makes the whole atmosphere of your home really pleasant. Hardly ever for me, to be honest. Um, I find it just creates a lot of mess. And anything that I do make is pretty much inedible. So I do tend to stay away from baking. Another question may be, do you think baking is a healthy method of cooking? Oh, definitely not. I mean, most things that people bake are incredibly unhealthy. Uh, the main ingredient is often sugar. Um, even one cookie has a ton of calories. So I don't think you really could consider baking to be healthy. Well, if I'm the one who's baking, I can control the amount of unhealthy ingredients going into whatever it is I'm making. So it all comes down to what I decide to do. Basically, it's as healthy as I choose to make it. So the last question would be, do you prefer eating home-cooked meals or do you prefer eating out? Well, for me, I'd take home-cooked meals any day of the week. Um, they're just more personalised to my tastes, and I also feel more relaxed when I'm eating at home, which really does boost my enjoyment of the meal. Oh, well, I really enjoy eating out for lunch or dinner, um, even though it's not practical to do so every day due to the cost. Um, it's more of a treat, you know, a once-in-a-blue-moon kind of thing. I think that's why it's more special for me than an everyday meal cooked at home. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and I'll see you soon.